Well, hello, Southern Fried. It is I, Dr. Joseph Brock III. I've had just over a week to ponder the happenings of August Sizzler. Start out pretty well, I might add. We said goodbye to Todd Sexton as he quit, or so we thought. Great farewell party. Then, the talented and capable Jacob Ashworth came out, challenging us, and Techi Makuji, my Japanese assassin, easily destroyed him. The career ender, Brian Kane, my Phase One Cup trophy champion, outmaneuvered and outsmarted that big, overgrown, busybody Jeter, and won. But then, Jeter calls out Techie Makuji. And Techie came, didn't he? And a brawl ensued. Pull apart. Wrestlers from the locker room, it empties, and they're all there. And we're doing just fine. But for the safety of the other wrestlers, I called Techie out. And you can watch the video and see I'm telling the truth. And we began to walk to the back. Brian Kane, Techie, and myself began to walk out. When Jeter jumps him from behind, attacked my client, my Japanese assassin, the real monster of Southern Fry, like a coward, Jeter jumped him from behind. And then, while we looked for Drew Blood in the back, I, we didn't realize he was still in the ring. That no good Todd Sexton stabbed him in the back. Pearl harbored him. Another coward. You should not mess with us. In that crossroads on September 23rd. Oh, I'm having a hard time controlling myself. Todd Sexton... You will pay. Jeter, you will find out why Techie's a real monster. And then, don't forget, Brian Kane has successfully defended that cup three times. At any moment, at any point, you never know when or where, he'll cash that cup in and we'll take home the Southern Fried title. Don't you forget it. I'm Dr. Brock, and you people disgust me. Good day.